Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of NotAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at a speaker dock, and this speaker dock isn't just your run-of-the-mill, you know, Philips or whatever you want to call it brand. It's made by Logic 3, but they've partnered up with Ferrari. Now when you partner up with Ferrari and you want to release a product, it needs to be good. Now I remember when I first met the team at Logic 3 and I spoke to them, you know, how hard is it to really, you know, put a brand name like Ferrari on your products? And they said it's really, really hard. In fact, it goes to the top level at Ferrari to actually finish approving these products as well. And that was something that really resonated with me and something I kept in mind when I was reviewing the Scuderia FS1. It's a speaker dock. Now, let me give you a bit of a rundown of this speaker dock as well if you don't know already. It, uh, it has Bluetooth on board. It has a iPod dock connector. It runs three and a half mil inputs. It's a 2.1 speaker system. So it's got these two speakers plus the downward firing sub. And the sound quality is very, very impressive. You know, I've had it in the home for a little over a month now. Actually, I've kind of kept it for a long time before doing this review. And it, I really have enjoyed using it. And everyone else who's plugged their iPhone or whatever into it have really enjoyed it as well. One thing I will mention is straight up is um, I run an iPhone 5 now and the iPhone 5 connector doesn't support the, uh, the FS1 which is a real shame because the FS1 takes the old style Apple dot connector. You can get adapters for it but it just makes it a little bit uglier by putting it on. Um, if you do have an older iPod, no problem, you can go straight onto it. And the other thing as well is that even though you can dock onto the, um, onto the speaker dock itself, you can just run Bluetooth. So I'm running the iPhone just through Bluetooth. You know, you're not limited because, oh, you've got the new iPhone, you can't use it. You still can. I just Bluetooth to it and I kind of enjoy that more because I can walk away with my phone and control my music without walking up to the speaker. The speaker as well has does come with a remote control and the remote control is perfect just for switching inputs, skipping songs, changing volume and turning it on. You really don't need to be there. If you keep your iPod docked into it the whole time, you really just turn the, grab the remote, turn the thing on, press play and away you go. Really easy to do. And worst case scenario, you've got no Bluetooth and stuff like that, you can plug it in with a 3.5mm audio input, which pretty much every device has. Which is good. The, uh, the two speakers on the back, um, they're 52 millimeter drivers. They're actually quite decent speakers and they run a high definition DSP, which is digital signal processing, which means you've got a lot of power, efficient power, and it's gonna be nice and clear. And that's something that I really, really noticed was that even though whatever music I was playing, I always felt like the quality was very, very good. And the bass was always there as well. That, that extra subwoofer in it really does pack a punch. And for such a small unit, you can really have music going throughout the house just from that little guy as well. Really impressive. It does all come at a cost. Anything with a Ferrari badge especially comes with a cost. 649 in Australia different overseas and probably even different if you shop around. But 649, yeah, it is a little bit expensive, but if if you're a fan like me, you kind of get a little bit blinded by the whole cost thing, but it actually is a very good looking dock. It looks beautiful in any house and the sound quality is very, very good. I would love to see it put up against other docks in the same price range because I think it would actually compare quite well. It's something that you should really definitely go in a store and, and hear it and have a really good understanding of what it's like before you invest $600 into a product like this. But I'm very impressed. I really did like it. Um, the biggest down downside is that it has got the old dock connector, but you know, in most cases, it probably isn't a huge issue. They also make another model called the FS1 Air, which has AirPlay built in as well, which is kind of handy if you're you know stuck on your Apple devices, but you want to go even further than what Bluetooth can, which is over Wi-Fi, you know, and sit in a completely different room when you're playing your music. You could if you want, but I think the Bluetooth option is good enough because anything further than sort of 10 meters from the speaker, you're going to start losing a little bit of audio as well. So it's, a, it's something you should sit in the same room with it, enjoy the music, and uh, and kick back. It is gorgeous. Yes, it's well worthy of the Ferrari badge. To me, it's one sexy thing. I mean, the shirt might make me a little biased, but uh, it's, yeah, for anybody. Anybody who's actually been in this house and had a look at it, they've also the same thing. It's really impressive. Scuderia FS1. It's made by Logic3. Check them out. It's, uh, it's well worth it if you're on the market for a dock. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.